すべてのドラゴン族はこの壺に封印されます It's your local dragon lady here with an episode of the Dragon Capture Jar, where I take a random dragon card and talk about it off the cuff. So here is the lovely jar. Let's see what caught for us this week. And this is a complete random and unusual one. <laughs> it is Parasec, the Interstellar Dragon. Yeah, look at that. In all of its glory. <laughs> Now, the reason why I'm talking about this card is this did have some significance uh, not too long ago. Um, basically, if you already control a level 8 monster,、uh, you can just normal summon this from your hand. And the reason why that's so significant is this card is also level 8. So, That is basically a free overlay to get your generic level 8 XC monsters out, which is very, very useful、uh, during the time that Dark the Galaxy Eyes Dark Matter Dragon was still legal. <laughs> a few people would utilize this and got that dragon out very, very quickly. Now, I personally didn't use this card in that deck, it was a combination of Blue Eyes Danger Guard Dragons. But even without this card, I was still been able to get two Galaxy Eyes Dark Matters out in one turn, which is very insane. But I can only imagine what, what, you know, what, what I could have done if I had this card at the time. And when I finally did get, finally did get a hold of Parasect, the Interstellar Dragon, well,、uh, Galaxy Eyes Dark Matter was banned. So that doesn't mean this card is useless.、Um, I still have him because I have some ideas. Because again,、uh, he's very easy to get out.、Uh, just get a blue eyes out, summon him for free, an overlay, and I can still go into some more generic XE monsters.、Uh, Whole Carpenter, Titanic Dragon is a real good one if you're terrified of your opponent's magic cards. So he's definitely not a write off.、Uh, still very useful in today's game.、Uh, as for the look, <laughs> The name Parasec, if that's how you pronounce it, it reminds me of the word parasite. And, ugh, like when you look at this guy, I mean, it is a dragon. It says so, like, this is a dragon monster. But holy moly, he looks more like a parasite or a bug than anything. <laughs> I don't know if it's just me. Like, the first thing that's what I think of when I first look at the picture of this card is a bug or an insect of some kind, like a spider. Like a spider with really big feet in space. Again, back to the space. It does say interstellar. So it is a dragon in space. That's just a, I guess that's the, that's the error, I suppose. <laughs> Dragons in space. That's, that was a thing, apparently. But no,、um, but all seriousness, though,、no. like, <laughs> while it does look like an insect in space with those twiggy little legs,、uh, I still, like, it's, I still think this card is very useful today. Very useful if you're just trying to get those generic XE monsters out. But as of right now,、uh, I'm not really utilizing him, but I could. I'm, I'm sure I could find a way to fit him in somewhere. So I don't know.、Uh, have any of you used him? Have any of you, actually, when the dark matter was still legal, have any of you、uh, utilized Parasec? Help get that monster out faster. <laughs> But let me know in the comments below、uh, what, what you think、uh, of this dragon. And speaking of that, I have been getting requests to talk about other dragon cards.、Uh, the only issue is where there's been such a huge, huge gap in me buying cards, like a 14 year gap. Remember now, I retired in 2004 and only came back like. In mid 2018. <laughs> so, if, if I don't have the card,、um, I'm not really able to have the jar capture it unless you want me to bend the rules and talk about the card anyway. I might be able to do that, <laughs> but、uh, you, you can let me know and I'll, I'll see 
what I can do. But as always, this is your Dragon Lady saying to be a good sport. Play the game, not the fame. See ya! Thanks for watching! If you like what you see, subscribe and be sure to click on the bell for notifications. You can also check me out on Facebook. The link is in the description below. Happy dueling!